Morgan's getting the groundbreaking shovel. What day is it today, Morgan? This is March 19th. Sounds like we're not gonna get our blocks blade for a couple more days, so we're gonna go at it with a hand shovel. Back part needs to go down like four feet, right? Yeah. We're gonna make maybe, a big maybe go to the bit. center. Go wherever you want. No, I'll do it with the tractor. <laughs> you gotta do one. back after work and pending husband has graded most of the lot. So while Chief Negativity Officer is running the tractor, I have the rotary laser out and I'm taking the elevations on the lot to make sure that we don't uh, over grade here. So Michael put together this really awesome sheet sheet I'll walk you through real quick. So this has all of the elevations of the house so the way that this diagram is read is more up and down, uh, but I'll kind of tilt it here so that it's a little bit easier to see. But essentially where we're taking all of our elevations from is from the red rim of the drain box that we have in the upper corner of the lot to the left of the driveway. Uh, that's a concrete pad and we know that that's not going to move as we start grading. And then we know that our leveling excavation depth has to be 2.75 feet above the rim of the drain. 
Uh, so we have our top uh, rotary laser set up here. And then earlier today I went out to the drain box with the grade rod and found out that it is 6.68 feet from the top of that concrete pad to the laser. I took that number and subtracted off the 2.75 to get to our level eight uh, excavation depth, which is your 3.93. I forgot my whiteboard marker that made it a lot easier to write on the laminated sheet here. Um, and so that's the number that I'm using as I start to take grade rod readings uh, on the excavation site here to calculate whether we're high or low and to tell Michael where he needs to grade. Uh, so for example, if I go out there with the grade rod and I read, let's say, 3.42. I can just take out my construction calculator and put 3.93 minus, I don't remember what I said at this point, 2.42 for example. Reading that on the grade rod. I can translate that to feet and then to inches. So I know I'm 18 inches high at that point. And so I've just been going around and you can kind of see them marks out there, telling him where he's high or low so that as he goes through the box blade, uh, he knows where to cut. This back corner here has to go down 24 inches, so our dinette's actually the highest point of the lot here. Let's get it back to the lot. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Probably shouldn't. Have. I literally saw fire. <coughs> Jerry, don't breathe that. It's not a lithium fire. It's a. Uh,